Hi, I'm Dr. Mark, and I'm going to help you sing and perform more like the top artists around the world. I'm a professional voice teacher, performance coach, and opera stage director. I've helped thousands of singers around the world learn the techniques and methods that got the top singers to where they are. Let's learn from Simon Cowell and some of the people that this video has labeled as mental who went on to American Idol. Here we go. You're single, you're married, you have kids? Uh, no. Yes, single. Yes, totally single. You hear that, everybody? I'm single. All right, well, I'm gonna send you anything else you right. should know? No, not really. We got it all? All right, yeah. Covered? Good yeah, luck. I'm ready. Head on that way. Oh, I'm in there? That's where they're, they're judges are supposed Oh, I'm about to go? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. Whoa. You wanna wait? No, you like no, to no. wait. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> reared and ready, man. I'm ready to go. All right, we're well, reared and ready right through so. there. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 How are you? Come in. Well, and what's your name? My name's Andrew Fenlon. Andrew. And why are you here, Andrew? I'm here auditioning for American Idol. Should be fairly obvious right. at this point. Okay. Also, like waiting around. Okay. Um, I think you know why I was asking the question. What What brought you here to audition? What brought me here to audition? I don't think it's that interesting of a question, actually, but Andrew, I think... Andrew, Andrew, yeah. I'm going to just warn you now. If you okay. want to carry on being a smart-ass, you can leave the room. Oh, I'm not being a smart-ass. So either answer the questions okay. or leave. Okay, no, I'll answer the questions. I'm going to answer your questions. I'm sorry, first of all. Okay, so... First off, what can we learn from this? <laughs> um... Don't do your auditions like this. One way or the other, you're going to have to sing in front of people who are going to decide if you're going to progress in your career and what you're doing, and if you're not. So what can we learn here? First of all, be very open, pleasant, as positive as you can possibly be. In the case like this, you've been sitting and probably been watching and waiting and stressed and it's not comfortable as the performer, but these people auditioning are also tired probably, and they're doing their best to listen to hundreds of singers and make the best decision. Be someone who stands out as someone they want to work with first and foremost. They're probably gonna go with the person that they want to work with as a person over someone who might have an amazing talent because we can improve the talent and we can improve the abilities and skills but changing the person behind them, that's a lot more difficult. Second thing we can learn, don't say sorry. Answer your questions. I'm sorry, first of all. Sorry is great for relationships, your family with a boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse. You need to know how to say you're sorry, but in the performance world, in the professional world, sorry is just a waste of time. There are two appropriate responses to criticism and correction. One is, yes, I got it. I understand, or I'll fix it. All of those are in the same category of just, got it, good to go. The second appropriate response is, I don't understand what you're asking. Would you please clarify it for me? Those are both acceptable. Excuses, I'm sorry, saying why you couldn't do it or why you can't or why you did what you did, no one cares. They just want you to fix it and be better. It's not a personal thing. It's a, you're a person who they need to deliver a certain product. And the quicker you can do it, the more efficiently, the better. Sorry is an immediate sign that we're working with an amateur and this person is gonna be a pain. It's an immediate turnoff for anyone who's making a decision on whether you're gonna progress in the, in the performance world. So finally, put yourself in the mind frame you need to be before you walk into the building, not before you walk into the room, before you walk into the building of the best version of you that you think that there is as a person. Let's see what else we got going on here. Okay, what are you gonna sing? I'm gonna sing House of the Rising Sun. You know that song? I'm just, okay. Right, Andrew, sorry. you are really pushing this. <laughs> no, I, all right, I'm just gonna sing it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to push any buttons. All right, okay, here we go. There is a house 
in New Orleans. It's called the rising sun, and it's been the ruin of many poor boy. And God, I know I'm one. My mother was a tailor. She sewed my new blue jeans. My father was a gambling man way down in New Orleans. Thank you. They'd already made their decision before he started singing. You can see it in their faces. I think that's what's crucial, is to realize that we got to solve the personal and relationship things first. And then once you have that connection and rapport, there's a lot more leniency on a subconscious level. But if you walk in with attitude, it has to be absolutely perfect. And even still, it's not going to work for you. Are you angry? Am I angry? You very on edge. Tell us what happened. What happened? I oh, just am on edge from waiting all day. Honestly. Some what? Just from waiting. It's just. Well, you know, waiting. the thing is, you want to be in the music business, but you don't want to wait to get into American Idol. That, to me, seems to be a problem. The best thing that you can do to walk into audition is to think about the person you respect, admire, and love the most, and imagine that that person is sitting in those judges' seats. That the person that loves you and respects you as well is sitting in those judges' seats. And treat those people with that kind of respect and attention. Is it a matter of if they deserve it or not? Nope. It's not a matter of if you think that person sitting there watching you deserves to be making the opinion. It's not about whether they are smart or respectable or whatever you think about that person watching you. It's about advancing to the next level. So in this situation, whatever they're saying, you want to treat that person with the utmost respect, kindness, and quickly show them that you are patient, you're diligent, you work hard, you can accept criticism and stay positive and keep that energy up high and exciting. Do we get it? Everyone's tired. Everyone's exhausted. Everyone is probably hangry and whatever else, definitely. But part of the business is you still have to go on stage. And when you are a top performer, do you have to perform when you're tired, sick, not feeling well, just don't want to do it and still convince the audience that it's your favorite thing on earth to do? Yes, you do. And part of this audition here is seeing if you can do that here in this moment first. If you can't, what's the point in investing more in you? There's none. If you can't do that, no matter how well you sing, goodbye. There's no point. And, That's you know, for point. you to have a bad it's attitude true. about no, that kind of pisses me off. I think you're reading Actually, it too far. No, no, I'm not reading it too far. Because you just told me that you were a little bit annoyed that you had to wait Very three annoyed. hours yeah. to come in here and get your shot when there are people that would wait years to do so. So I am now angry at you, who I don't like at all. In most auditions, will you get this much candid feedback? Nope. They'll probably stop you halfway through, say, thank you very much. Have a good day. And that's the last you'll hear. That's it. So them actually taking the time to stop and talk to him and give him this kind of feedback is actually gold. They're doing an excellent job at teaching and instructing this gentleman with more patience than most panels would give. This feedback is actually really valuable and hopefully he learned from it and so he can move forward with it. I don't want you to go into auditions to be scared of them. They're not something to be scared of, but you want to make sure that you've taken the time to prepare emotionally and mentally, have the energy and the patience and the diligence put in so that you can make the most of it when you have a chance like this. This is a chance of a lifetime. Well, why are you doing this? So why, why are you with all like the attitude? What's the, what's the problem? No, there's no problem at all. I, I think that, I don't know why you guys, there's no problem. You walked in mm -hmm. very sulky, quite rude, very aggressive, and you've got very, very bad energy. Oh, man. You do? Yes or no? <laughs> 
Andrew, no. Have they said anything about his voice yet? Not a thing. Not a thing. One of the reasons I want to do this video is to highlight this. That the voice and how well you sing is just a part of the puzzle and often not the biggest part of the puzzle. I think watching watching this is an absolute education in what is going through these judges' minds when they're looking at someone. The voice is definitely part of it and they're looking at that, but that's just the starting blocks. The majority of people that I've worked with and at being on a judge and, and hiring people as well is I want to know, can this person communicate? Can they perform? Can I trust them? Are they going to be a person I like to work with and want to work with again? And honestly, from the time he walked in the room, the answer was no. The majority of decisions are made in the audition room in less than the first 30 seconds, sometimes less than the first 10 seconds. Oh, I'm sorry. Victoria? No. Randy? Wasn't good enough today, dog, no. I would That's have said right. yes. You're what? kidding me. I see something You're grow on me. kidding. <laughs> He's starting to grow. You know what? I had a feeling. Oh, I, I had a feeling oh, that you and I were. Yeah, we started off bad, but kind of got to like each other. A bonding. Well, I'm well, shocked. You know what, Simon? That. You have an attitude, but you're at least charming. Everybody's searching for a hero. People need someone to look up to. Thank you. Randy. I don't think that you're a solo singer at all. I think you're I'm more. I'm sorry? I don't feel that you're a solo singer. I don't feel that you have a solo singer's voice. <laughs> I'm quite sure I sing a whole lot better than you do. And for you to tell me I need lessons? Tamika, Tamika. <laughs> okay, first and foremost, don't interrupt what someone's saying. Don't be rude. Again, treat the person in front of you with the most respect possible. Even if you don't like what they're saying, it's offensive, it pushes all your buttons and seems awful. Listen to it with open eyes, a smile, and then get angry, cry, stomp somewhere else. Not in the audition room. She just proved right there that she's not a solo singer. Right there. She proved his point. Look at every opportunity you have as something to learn and gain information from that you can act on. If you can't do anything with it and it's just a judgment like you're good, you're bad, you can't do anything with that. But if it's something you can do on, he says she doesn't have a solo's voice. Instead, what she'd be thinking is, all right, I respect that. Can you explain what about my voice makes it not a soloist voice? So I can go fix that because what I want to be is a soloist. That's the response that should be going through their head. Enough, enough, oh, enough, enough, enough. I'm hurt. I'm hurt and I'm angry. You Feisty. Angry. You're not standing where I'm Welcome to American Idol You're Smackdown. You're not standing here being judged by people about how you sing. You're not singing, are you? And for you to tell me that I need lessons? Tamika, Tamika. 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 It's Tamika. 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 Listen to me. Tamika. 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 Not Tamika. Tamika. <laughs> Tamika. Tamika. Go to an audition where they lie to you. Thank you very much. That seems rude, I know, but it's not. It's true. They won't just lie to you. They just won't talk to you. I feel your breath upon my face. No, it's cool. I got it today. I'm gonna be singing Tenderoni. I want your love. Okay. <clears throat> Baby, uh, I think of you. I think of you a million times a day. Baby, uh, I cannot, I cannot get you outside my head. And baby, I'm crazy, and this always about you. All that I know is I belong to you, oh, baby. I want your love. I need your love. Give me your love, give me your love, baby. And I want your love. Give me your love. Thank you, Jennifer. Give me your love, give me your love, give me no, your love. No, no, we're not no. going to give you any love. <laughs> it's a terrible audition. Opinion don't mean none. Pardon? <laughs> then, why, then why are you here? Opinion don't mean none. Then why are you here? Because you don't leave no stone unturned. Then why are you here? Well, what do you know about music? Well, why are you here? Why am I here? Yeah. Why are you here? I'm here to judge you, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, okay. What? Well, I'm here to sing. You don't know nothing we about music. We didn't like music. the singing. That's the rule. All right. 
Well, I really don't care. You don't Good. know nothing about music. Okay. I've never heard you do a demo. I've no. never heard you well, spit a I lick, wouldn't so want to sound like you, you about music. Why did you get a job down in the port? Why did I get a job what? A job in the port when it's <laughs> foggy. Port. Are the judges doing what normal judges would do in auditions? No. Again, they're giving me way more information than most auditions will give. Here are they being a little rude. Yeah. I think a little more respect should be given to the performer of hearing. And if you don't like it or there's something wrong, just saying thank you very much and goodbye. That's part of the entertainment value of this particular show. And so the judges here are doing their job because it's more entertaining, even though it is really rude <laughs> and painful, but they're kind of dishing it back and forth. Hmm. Yikes. Uh, other thing, when someone says thank you or tries to stop you, stop. If they say thank you, good day, it doesn't always mean it's bad. Don't try to read into the judge's facial expressions in the moment. Don't try to read into their response. You never know what's going to happen from it in a real audition. Do your best. Smile. Say thank you. Leave. Be appreciative for the opportunity that they took the time to listen to you and move on from there. For the majority of people and professionals out there, you're going to be doing hundreds of auditions, hundreds of times in front of people, and almost all of them will say no. You're just waiting for the few that say yes. So instead of walking to audition and thinking that it's a make or break, you got to do it now or never, it is not helpful. Walk in and thinking of it as a learning opportunity that you're going to do your best and be happy that you had the chance to be, go in there and have people listen to you and consider you. That's the best way to walk into audition. You're going to find if you do that, A, you're going to perform better, B, they're going to respond to you better, and C, consequently, you're more likely to get the job. I will not stop until I'm a household name. When America sees this, they're going to forget about Taylor Who, Carrie Underwear, I mean Fantasia Wen, but they will remember Ian Bernardo. And that's going to happen. That's on my phone. That's yours. We can share. Hi, how you been? Hello. This is... Hello, how are you? Good. How are you? Okay, so... Walking in, is it great to have your pre-performance mantra, ways to get your confidence and build yourself up and to have good energy be ready? Sure. As long as it's not entitled and arrogant and going to put you in a mindset that you're pushing people away and pretending to be something you're not. Try to find ways to be humble, appreciative, and put yourself in a mindset where you're just going to enjoy the moment. What's, what's your name? My name is Ian Bernardo. That's my name. And how old are you? I am 25 years old, Mr. Cowell. All right. And why are you here, Ian? <laughs> to try out for American Idol. <laughs> no, I know that. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's no. cool. Like, why else would I be at American Idol? I'm here to be the next American Idol. I thought that it would be a nice addition to my already long and impressive resume. Which is? Which is superstar, dancer, singer... And this is Chinchilla, and I'm wearing it specifically to show the world how wealthy I can be. Well, you're not a superstar, but you are a singer. I am a superstar. No, with respect, Ian, you're not a superstar, but you may be a singer and a dancer. I am a singer, I'm a dancer, and I am... Don't argue. Don't argue. Don't bring in extra unnecessary things. Don't try to pretend to be bigger than you are. Just be a person. Be real. <sighs> that said, if this is a real audition, this is awful. But he very well might know that he has zero hope of advancing in this. And he's using this one moment of glory to get his name out there and to hopefully impress someone else that's not sitting there in the room. Maybe that's what he's going for. He's definitely brandy. He's got his name on there. He's ready to roll. A superstar you can ask my family you can ask my friend you can ask one of my therapists i am a one of them <laughs> how many therapists do you have i have two oh, all right okay what are you gonna say gloria okay Ooh. gloria 
You're always on the run now, running after somebody. You're gonna get them somehow. I think you got to slow down before you start to blow it. I think you're headed for a breakdown, so be careful not to show it. You really don't remember. Was it something that he said? Or the voices in your head calling Gloria? <laughs> Gloria, don't you think you're falling? If everybody wants you, why isn't anybody calling? You don't have to answer. Leave him hanging on the line. Hey, hey, hey. Calling Gloria. Gloria, how are you going to go down? Will you meet okay. him on the main line? Okay. Or will you okay. catch him on the rebound? Will okay. you marry for it? Okay. Randy. Oh, uh, God, dude. I don't even know what to say. Thank you. <laughs> Didn't mean it that way. But <laughs> Three syllables. Hollywood. Like, it's not that Let high. me tell you what this was, Ian. This was a very hammy bad audition for you as something you aspire to be which obviously isn't a singer really? and you it's bad it's not funny you're not good at anything and this is all your no, lips no, no, I'm not no, I, and I haven't finished yet okay it's just rubbish Ugh. so the short of it is this show up be a real person See it as a job interview. Be as reasonable, lovable, friendly, respectful, hardworking as you can be. High maintenance, difficult, and everything else that we we're seeing there? No, 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 no. You want to show them that you are an excellent investment. The keys of that are, can you produce the product you say you can produce? Are you a person that they can work with day in, day out? Are you reliable? Are you stable? Are they going to be able to count on you as an investment? Auditioning's hard. It's not easy. It's stressful. It can hurt. Our anxiety levels go up. Our expectations go up. Disappointment can be so brutal. And in this case, where they are voicing what's inside their head to you live in front of a worldwide audience, it's rough. That's rough. But it's actually a really good learning experience. If you can get past the drama and see what's really being said and what people are really reacting to, to get an idea of what's actually happening behind that table. If you want to voice us in a performance coaching or want me to work with you or your group to help you sing easier and perform at a consistently higher level, or to help you prepare for an audition or competition, book a time with me at mrperformingartstudio.com. I look forward to working with you online.